So, how long do VHS tapes last before they become unplayable? Many people seem to have varying opinions. It does seem to vary from tape to tape, and of course, storage conditions are so important. Basically, it is said that deterioration of about 10 to 20 percent will occur between 10 to 25 years. So, if you bought a brand new videotape in the 1980s and recorded stuff onto it, basically, a tape that I bought in 1985 is going to start deteriorating in 1995. And by about 2010, that tape is going to be quite degraded if you go by that rule of thumb. Now, if you still have a bunch of tapes from the 80s and 90s, it is likely they have degraded somewhat. However, that's not to say that they are unplayable. Again, it really depends on the quality of the tape and the storage conditions. Now, if you have for example, some very valuable home movies, they should be digitized ASAP. Now, I have many VHS tapes that are nearly 40 years old, and many of them can still be played, but the video quality is often very fuzzy, and quite often I find the sound is very, very quiet. Sometimes it's almost inaudible. Magnetic particles on the tape lose their charge with time, and this results in color shifts and a loss of overall details. The polymers in the binder absorb water, even in a setting with only a small amount of humidity, and this can cause an unplayable mess known as sticky shed syndrome, which can render the tape useless. And I've mentioned sticky shed syndrome before with audio tapes. It can basically affect any tape, audio, video, what have you. Now, until you get your tapes digitized, some things that you can do. You can store your tapes in a cool, dry place, ideally between 40 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit and in 30 to 50 percent relative humidity. Never store your tapes in an attic or a basement and avoid storing them near strong magnetic sources like speakers. Now, it goes without saying that all tapes, whether they be audio or visual, will eventually degrade. So, lifespan of a VHS tape is relatively short. In a nutshell, if you want to preserve these precious memories, maybe you have a videotape of, a, of your child's birthday party many, many years ago, uh, a wedding, an anniversary, anything like that, if it's still precious to you and if it's still playable, I would strongly suggest digitizing it as soon as possible. Now, there are basically many businesses out there that will digitize your old videotapes. Many of them do an excellent job and many of them also charge a great deal of money. If you are very DIY, if you are the type of person who likes to do it yourself, you can definitely digitize your own VHS tapes, and it's really not that difficult. In a previous video, I mentioned something called EasyCap, and this is basically a little device that enables you to connect your VCR to your laptop. And very easily, you can digitize your old VHS tapes by transferring them to your laptop and saving them as MPEG files. And these EasyCap devices can be found online for very cheap, usually under $20. So I would recommend, if you're interested in this, go back and look at my video where I talk about this device. And I will put a link to that video at the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you can join us again next time. Please, as always, subscribe to the channel. I post new tech reviews every week and it won't cost you anything. There's no obligation on your behalf, but every time someone subscribes, it really helps my channel grow and it's greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. Leave a comment, give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you. We'll see you again next time. Take care, bye-bye.